Hello, and welcome back to my limited heal run of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we finished off Silphco, and in this episode, we're gonna do some more stuff. Actually, let's go check out my team for a moment here. Uh, we do have Sleepy at quite the high level, level 41, and he's got plenty of attacks to go. Um, so I was thinking... Alright, I was thinking, we're at, what, um, 10 tokens now? And we haven't gone higher than that yet. So, I think what I'm gonna do is... Because I, I have a lot of- I have a lot of tokens. And so, it's, um... It's almost getting to the point where maybe it's a little too easy, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to do this thing, where... I can only, um... Where I can only get tokens up to 10. And then, af if I hit 10, I can't go any higher than that. So if I beat a gym and I'm at 10, then I don't get any. If I beat a gym and I'm an 8, I only get 2 instead of 3 and I go to 10. If I beat a gym and I'm at 9, I get 1. Of course, if I beat a gym and I'm at 1 token, then I get the full 3 and I have 4 tokens. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, basically, I think I'm gonna take on the Fighting jo Dojo, which does not count as a gym. So I don't get tokens for that. Um, and then probably use a token. I mean, we can afford it, because what I'm thinking, the next thing we can do, really the next thing we're gonna do, I mean, we can do the Safari Zone, I guess. But as far as actually leveling our Pokémon, the next thing we can do is take on Koga's Gym. And I might as well heal, I'm, I might as well use up tokens before that, because I can't go over 10. So yeah, that's gonna be the rule. Since I haven't yet gone over 10 in this series, it doesn't really matter, like, I don't have to worry about it retroactively applying, it doesn't, like, nothing happened, I didn't go over before. So, I'm gonna try it starting now. If I get to the point, I don't know, we'll, we'll see if, he, we'll see how my uh, token management goes then. So yeah, we're just gonna take on... I should probably use other Pokémon besides Sleepy here. But honestly, come on, who else is well-equipped to take on these guys? I mean, I guess Bulby can do okay. We can send out Bulby for one. Also, we have to get... Um... I mean, Dino Bunny could do alright. But we have to get Shades to the point of evolving, too. Um, let's give Shades a try. I know Shades and Bulby are at the same level, but... I will say Bulby already got to evolve to his final stage, so we'll give a little bit of advantage here to Shades. A little bit of extra attention. I'm gonna send out Primate, that's kinda what I thought. Level 36, which I think the Dojo Master, or whatever you wanna call him, uses level 36 or level 37 Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Okay, that bubble beam, I guess, wasn't terrible, but now we're gonna see how much this Fury Swipes does. Not... Ah, uh, that's, that's lovable. Am I gonna have to resort to Sleepy again? I don't know, how do we do here? We get the speed drop again? Can we? No. Alright, um... Because of that X attack, though, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go for Dino Bunny. Because Dino Bunny is a little more evenly matched in terms of level. Oh, focus energy. You just did yourself in there, buddy. Although, really, he's still got boosted attack, so it's not that good of a thing. And we get a crit with Dino Bunny. Alright. Get a crit with all these Pokemon that don't seem fast. Stubbed your finger. How'd you stub your fingers? I don't know. But I did get a whole ton of fresh water, so we should be good for a while. Alright, let's fight this guy. And we will get Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. Honestly, because in Generation 1, Generations 1 through 3, the Elemental Punches are special. The fact that Hitmonchan can learn the Elemental Punches is cool, but it's not that useful, so... Really, until Generation 4, I would say that Hitmonlee is the better choice. Not that we're gonna really use him, but I think we're gonna pick up Hitmonlee. I think this these are one of those where they send to your PC. Hopefully, you don't have to have a slot in your party. It's weird how certain gift Pokemon, you do have to have a slot in your party, other ones you don't. I guess for eggs it makes sense um, that you have to have it in your party because 
They need to be around other Pokemon in order to for you to take care of them. I mean, you can put eggs in the PC, but I guess it makes sense how they don't get transferred to the PC automatically. Alright, we have another Primeape. Well, let's go ahead and try. This one's a much lower level. Uh-oh, he's locked into Rage. If it takes us a lot of hits to KO this guy, that could be bad. We did lower his speed, though. Can we get the freeze? Maybe. No, but we get a crit! So that's actually pretty good to get the crit. It's gonna raise his attack another stage, but now we can just go for bite and not have a problem. Alright, look at you, Shades, taking on these Pokémon. Okay, but for the Karate Master, whatever you want to call him, we're gonna go for Sleepy. Give him that more experience. Grunt, I am the Karate Master, I am the leader here! You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! <laughs> Fwa. Alright, let's take on the Karate Master. Okay, yeah, level 37. That is what I thought. Level 37 Hitmonlee, not gonna be a problem. We're just gonna go ahead, go for a Psychic. That X attack is not gonna help you out that much, I hate to tell you. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. But, yeah. Go Sleepy. Go Sleepy. And Sleepy grew to level 42, which is good. Uh, let's just keep Sleepy in for Hitmonchan. And Psychic. Okay. So, the next thing we're gonna do is go to Koga's Gym, but well, let's, let's get this Pokémon first. Indeed, I have lost. But, I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokémon. Choose whichever one you like. Well, honestly, that sounds a lot more... Uh, it sounds a lot more useful... ...than your emblem. I mean, I'm sure your emblem is useful to somebody, or a sign of pride, or whatever, but I'd much rather have the Pokémon. We're gonna name him only Bruce, because... No sense wasting time coming up with- I just realized I used the, uh, I didn't use the all uppercase format I've been using for all the Pokémon in this game. Um, I'm, um, too used to what I'm doing in some of my other games where I'm using the regular format. Okay, we can't dig. I was gonna say, can I just teleport to Fuchsia City? But I can't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heal here and use a token. Yeah. I mean, I don't absolutely need to use a token. But I feel like I might as well, because again, I can use up to three before I get to Koga, and I can still be at my max at the end. So, I might as well. It's kind of a win-win, because I'm actually keeping things a little more restricted, but at the same time, I can feel alright about using these tokens and not just sitting on them. So yeah, I think it wins either way. Because I think it makes it challenging, but not too much more challenging to where it's ridiculous. Alright, so what I need to do is make my way back to Fuchsia. And I will spare you the entire journey of that, because right now I still have to go all the way this way. Because the Snorlax is still blocking. Like, I could go to... I could go from either Lavender Town or be maybe a little bit shorter from Vermilion. But in this case, gotta go to Cycling Road. Cycling Road is actually a little bit faster, probably. But anyway, I'm gonna cut to when I'm in Fuchsia City, so see you in a second. Okay, we're here in Fuchsia City, and dang, I love listening to the Generation 1 bicycle theme through headphones. It really takes me back. It's such a good theme, too. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead into Koga's Gym. I, I realize we could do the Safari Zone and stuff, but I think I'm gonna do the gym in this episode. So that we can do the Safari Zone maybe in the next episode, and then, um... Do the, do the Safari Zone in the next episode so that we have an episode in between gym battles. Because, um, Sabrina... We don't want to do Sabrina right after Koga, that would just be a little silly. Um, I mean it wouldn't be silly, but... I want to do it this way, I want to have a little break in between. But anyway, I'm gonna lead with Sleepy, even though I'm gonna use Charlie for some of these battles. But I want to lead with Sleepy just to make sure for this guy... I think this guy, in red and blue, he has a level 38 Hypno, I believe. 
for some reason psychic types in the poison type gym, but I don't know if these trainers were changed at all for yellow. Nope, there's the Hypno. So we are gonna go for Sleepy. I mean, I guess there are other psychic types in this, like that the trainers use in this gym, but I think this one's the worst one because it's level 38. So unless you have something really good against it, which pretty much another psychic type is your best bet. It's best to- why'd that do so much the time before and not much at all this time? Did I get a crit the first time? I did not pay attention. Oh well, we defeated it. Threat over, so now we can lead with Charlie for the rest of these trainers. I mean again, I think we'll run into a couple more psychic types. But I think they're lower leveled, so... I have to remember not to use Dig. I don't think- actually, I don't think we can use Dig to get out of the, the gym, just dungeons. But I have to remember just in case not to use it, because that'll take us all the way to, back to Saffron. Because it's the last Pokémon Center you healed at, apparently. Not just gone inside. Although I didn't go inside, um... This- I didn't go inside the Pokémon Center here anyway. Alright, so, what did I say? More Psychic types. So we have this Drowsy here. And he has Psychic. Great. Let's see, what's that gonna do? Ah, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. And we get a crit. We could've used that crit earlier though, Charlie. Oh, Kadabra. Dang. Alright, just in case, let's uh, go back into Sleepy. I'm trying to give Sleepy a break here and not be the overpowered one, but what can- you tie my hands when you've just got a bunch of psychic types. Fortunately, Kadabra poses absolutely zero threat to Sleepy, and with his lowered defenses, we should be able to one-shot him. Oh, dang. A little more than one shot. Actually, I should have gone for Confusion instead of Headbutt there, but it's alright. Okay. Well, let's use... not that. Let's use... not that. Alright. Um, Charlie... well, yeah, let's- let's fill up Charlie's health, honestly. And let's fill up Sleepy's health. Well, it's not totally full, but it's full enough. Okay, so we fought these two guys. Let's fight this guy. And he's a juggler, and he's gonna have... Yeah, there are a ton... There are so many psychic types in this gym. Just like... Okay, this gym has a lot of psychic types, and Sabrina's gym has a lot of ghost types. Which, the ghost types are also part poison, so it's almost like they're mixed up. Much like there's that theory that the names Marsh Badge and Soul Badge were flipped. Uh, the English names for those badges. Because in... In, um, in Japanese, I guess, they're all based on colors, and so they're all matched to whatever the color of the badge is. And the gold badge is for Sabrina's gym because the color gold is associated with psychic abilities or something like that. But in English, you'd think the Marsh Badge might be over where Fuchsia City is, I don't know, because... I was gonna say the Safari Zone, but really in Generation 4 it's the Great Marsh, so I don't know if that is a, is a nod there or not. Uh, but, but in Sabrina's gym it would make sense the soul badge, because soul kind of like extra, um, what's the word? When you think about, um, supernatural things, you think about the soul, psychic abilities, I could see it all tying in. Although it's still not a completely hard and fast association. But these trainers having kind of mixed up Types. I mean, there are some trainers in here that use, like, Arbok and whatnot. But there's a lot of Drowsy and Kadabra in here. And then Sabrina's Gym has ghost types, but again, they're also poison types. So there's some- there's something going on here. There's- either it was just mixed up or it was just poor planning. I mean, I know there aren't really a lot of psychic types in Generation 1, so that might be part of- that might partially explain Sabrina's Gym. There should be more poison types in Koga's gym because, like, you you have Arbok, you have Weezing, Muck, 
Um, oh, nope, Charlie, sorry, you can't evolve yet. You gotta learn Flamethrower. I won't let you evolve until you learn Flamethrower. Sorry. Um, but yeah, you have you know, Zubat and Golbat. Um, actually, Koga used Golbat in the anime. Um, you know, Venonat and Venomoth, which you could have the trainers use Zubat, Golbat, um, even the even grass types like Oddish, Bloom, Vile Bloom, Bellsprout, etc. Um, there's a lot. Of, basically, there's a lot of poison types. The Nidoran family. I know that some of those are used in um, in Giovanni's gym, but you could use. I mean, you could use them. I did not mean to go for scratch. I meant to go for dig. But anyway, so like Arbok, this makes sense, right? Poison type. All right, let's go and dig and hopefully not get full paralysis. Of course, Charlie, of course. At least it didn't use up uh, PP for that. That's good. Again, Charlie! I am so glad that it's not wasting PP doing this. Come on, Charlie. There we go. Thank you, Charlie, for finally cooperating. And Sand Slash. I forgot about this. Now, I know some of these are tied to the trainer class, because Tamers, I think there's Tamers in Giovanni's Gym, and they use things like Arbok and Sand Slash. So, like, that might have to do with the trainer class. And I know Sand Slash can learn, like, Poison Sting or whatever. But, and then, it would make sense for the Jugglers, then, because Jugglers tend to use Drowsy and Kadabra, so I guess it makes sense there, too. Uh, still. Still, there were plenty of other Poison types that could have been in this gym. I don't know. Alright, back to Arbok. Even though Charlie is still paralyzed, of course. Let's go ahead and try for it again, because if we try to cure Charlie's paralysis, this Arbok will probably just go for, go for Glare, and we'll be paralyzed again. So why not? Okay, pretty good. Let's try an Ember now. This should take it out. And it does. Charlie, you're to level 38. I think you're only four levels away from learning Flamethrower. And when you learn Flamethrower, you can evolve, but... You don't have Flamethrower yet, so you can't evolve. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. What is that from? Like, okay, it's a saying. But I know... I remember hearing it was used in, like, the old... Like, was it Starkist Tuna commercials? Because the mascot or whatever is named Charlie. Charlie the Tuna or something like that. And... Or no, or did Charlie talk, or did the tuna talk to someone named Charlie? I don't know. There was Sorry Charlie, but did that saying exist before those commercials? Because I think I was born after those commercials were a thing. So I just heard the saying Sorry Charlie without knowing that it was connected to a tuna commercial. Anybody else? <laughs> I don't, of course, anybody else watching this probably is not old enough to know either. But I'm doing a video right now, but if you're watching this, go ahead and like click another, another tab or when- or, like, pause out for a second and go look up on Wikipedia or something, the origin of Sorry Charlie. Is it related- is it just a saying and they used it in the tuna commercial, or did it come from the tuna commercial? We'll do a question of the day thing. And we've got- yeah, see, Sandslash and Arbok again. I think that's- that's like what these tamers tend to use. I think they use Rhyhorn, too, occasionally. I think I'm gonna try to use Charlie against- because Koga has like something like three Venonat before I use his Venomoth. So I think we're gonna try to use Charlie against the Venonat. Now the Venonat are fairly high level. I think the lowest one, they might be 43, 45, 47. And then- and then the- the Venomoth is like level 50 or something along those lines. I might be slightly mistaken. But it's something like that. Like he has a bunch of Ven Venonat in increasing levels in the 40s. And then he's got his Venomoth, which is like 50 or something like that. Let's see. So, but fortunately, we're using up a lot of digs, and we won't need to use dig against the Venonat. We'll go for, I guess, Ember. Although, I guess Venonat have pretty good special. Oh, withdraw. Uh oh, Hypno. Well, let's go for another slash, actually. Hope for a crit or something. That was a crit. Oh, withdrawing again. 
Alrighty. We're gonna play this game. I get it! Oh my gosh, I get it. He's a juggler and he's switching out his Pokemon, so he's like juggling his Pokemon. I never thought of that before. Never thought of that before. I wonder if that's why. The juggler switches out Pokemon. Oh good, we got two crits on this thing. Uh, let's try a Scratch. I think a Scratch will actually do more than an Ember because of Hypno's special stat. Alright, level 40, level 39, excuse me. You're three levels away from learning Flamethrower, Charlie. Three levels. And then you can evolve. Then I will let you evolve. I know, poor Charlie. Okay, so Koga's right there, but there is one more... I did see one more trainer, I think, that we can fight. Let's see if we can get Charlie maybe to level 40. I don't know if we can, actually. But we can go this way and fight... Can we? Or no. We already fought this trainer. Never mind. I think we did fight all the trainers. Alright, well, I guess we're ready for this. Let's just go ahead and, and get my Pokemon up to full health, though. Uh, here... I know, I have to- for this little bit of health to be recovered. It's kind of a waste. But what can you do? Alright. I mean, actually, we could go back- we could go back and use up a token, because like I said, if we beat Koga, we get three. So, we would still- we would fill up to ten, but I want to still live on the edge a little bit. Let's do this. Fwahahaha! A mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. Alrighty. I think when I played my leaf green wedlock, I think I gave him like, I tried to give him like a Mojo Jojo voice. Yeah, I kind of, I don't have the energy to do that again this time. But his, uh, his voice is similar. Oh, we got the burn. And goes for X attack. Not the best idea in this case. Not to mention burn, um, burn cuts your attack anyway. Wait a minute. His X attack happened after I went. That's interesting. Because, you know, usually items happen at the beginning of the turn. But not in this case, I guess. Ooh, a crit! Go Charlie, because that would not... I guess it still would have been a two-shot, but that would not have been a one-shot for sure without the crit. And this level 48, so we had 44, 46, 48. I thought it was odd numbers, but it's even numbers. And he's doing it again. I mean, I did hear that the um, trainers choose the AI, the trainer AI chooses their attacks after you go. I guess that's only if you're faster than them. But it's weird. I thought that if they use items, it definitely happens first. We could, we could try and have Charlie go up against this Venomoth. I don't know what I just did. Maybe it, I feel- because I feel confident- Uh-oh. This is gonna get annoying. I was gonna say, I feel confident that we can always- And there's Toxic. That we can always switch into, um, into Sleepy. Oh my gosh, Charlie. Oh, it has Psychic. I think we're gonna drop to this. Okay, we don't. But we still don't hit. All right, Charlie, I gave you a chance. Now you've been toxic, so I'm gonna get out of here. I gave him a chance, what can I say? Going for leech life, you're reading. I was gonna say I thought that um, Psychic still would have done more, but that leech life is doing a decent amount. I might be in a little over my head here. I probably should have switched right to Sleepy, but you know what? I did want Charlie to get the experience. I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to keep him in. Man, almost one-shotted. Uh, let's go for Confusion. Try to save that PP a little bit. Although, I don't know if Confusion is gonna take it out from here. It is, okay. That was a little scary when it started with the double teams there. But we did it. We beat Koga. You have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. Now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokémon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. We got TM6 for Toxic, which, you know what? 
I think I am going to give Bulby Toxic over Poison Powder, because I'm going to try... I can try to break the game with my Leech Seed Toxic combo. Although, really, everybody can learn it. But everybody else has kind of moves that I want to keep attacking moves, whereas switching out Poison Powder for Toxic is kind of switching out one version of something for another. Something that's a long-term better, probably. All right, we're gonna just heal up here. We got back our one token. So yeah, up to our maximum of 10. That, again, that's what I've decided. Normally, we could get up to three tokens for defeating a gym leader, but like I said, we're, um, we're trying to keep not going over a maximum of 10. So we're at 10 tokens again. And I guess that's gonna do it for this episode. So in the next episode, we are going to do the Safari Zone thing. Because we have to get the HM for Surf, and we also have to find the gold teeth in order to get, um, in order to get strength, which, both of which we need. Is there anything that you guys have for me? I forget if there's, like, items or anything. Probably not. I've met Bill. Oh, you're Bill's grandpa. I don't know if anything ever becomes of that, but alright. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, subscribe if you want to stay up to date when my latest videos come out. Also, if you would like to follow me on social media, like my page on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter, the links are in the description. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my limited heel run of Pokemon Yellow.